These are the vendors conducting business outside Chinatown and sell cosmetic and medicinal products. They express dismay with the methods applied by NAMRA in its operations. Just last week, these vendors alleged that NAMRA officials seized a portion of their products, an action they described as a nightmare in their pursuit of earning a livelihood. One of the vendors remarked that NAMRA should focus on being a vigilant guardian at the borders, actively preventing the influx of counterfeit goods into the country. This approach, the vendor argued, would spare them the expense of investing in products that could potentially be confiscated that such action inflict upon their business. We are struggling, but we have NAMRA confiscating our products. NAMRA just comes and takes the goods and they do not inform us on the reasons why the products have been confiscated. Everything they find on the table, they just take it. Then he writes us letters and they do not refund our things back that they take. The things come through the borders. We do not go and buy the stock at the borders. We buy it here locally. My question is, those who are at the borders, why do they allow these products in the country? Because now we are just wasting our money. We have children. We help them through our business. We do not have employment. Thus, we are surviving through our businesses. Another vendor stated that there are no products or goods in the country that they can buy locally to start up their business. <laughs> We buy these products from other countries because there are no factories in Namibia where we can buy our stock and start our business. There we buy it for a cheaper price. We do not know the reasons behind these gels. They also confiscated the cockroach killers, but they didn't want us not to sell them. They just come and confiscate because they say they are poisonous to people. Through this, we make a huge loss. When we see NAMRA, we hide our products. Perhaps they can ally with other countries to build factories in the country so that we can be buying the registered products. They say so far they have incurred losses as their goods get confiscated by NAMRA officials.